And it is outside. That's Cody St. Crow from Kenmark, North Dakota in the 19. Row number three, that's Brandon Conkright in the 124 from Wamego, Kansas. And Mike Nichols, your defending national champion of the 63 from Harlan, Iowa, is outside. Row number four, it's Cameron Wilkinson from Neely and Marty Steinbach from Fremont in the 5 Eli. And then Kyle Wilkinson in the 52, rounding out your order from Neely. Green flag is out, first of two. Stock car heat race is coming at you. Working through one and two. Good start for Jed Williams. He'll jump out to the early advantage. Casey Walken in second. Here comes Brandon Conkrine. He's going to go side by side with the 25 of Kyle Ord. And here comes Mike Nichols now to the inside as well. Top two cars pulling away for the rest of the field. But, boy, it's a hornet's nest behind them. Conkrine, Ord, Nichols, your top five, the 19. Working up top, St. Crow in the mix as well. And now Nichols moves up into the fourth spot. Meanwhile, your race heating up for the lead. Casey Walken right on the back bumper of Jen Williams as they work to one and two. As one goes around, it's Kyle Ward. Kyle Ward going around at the top of turn one. And that might bring out another caution. As the field thunders through three and four, it will bring out the caution flag. Did not quite see. I caught the tail end of that one. Not for sure if Ord had a little bit of help going around or not. He was definitely in a battle there mid-pack. Boy, this class is one fun class to watch. That is for sure. One of the premier series, not only at IMCA, but any touring series in the country. The IMCA Stock Car Division, probably about as competitive as you can find out there right now and a lot of drivers going to it so Kyle Lord needing a little bit of help in turn one and two but Jed Williams here early on of this one leading the way the Shickley native finished sixth in the point standings this season ago Casey Wolken and that 35 JW from Norton Kansas making the trip up in the second spot very clean ride for him here in 2021 Tough stock car field in heat number one. Heat number two waiting in the wings as well. Going to go back to green flag racing this time by. Off of four, Jed Williams leading the way. We're back under green flag racing. And Cody Wolk, or Casey Wolk can give him a little bit of a push going into one, and that opens up the door for Conkright. Side by side for second, and he'll pick up the spot. Wolken back to third, and now here comes Nichols to the inside. Marty Stein back up into the fifth spot as, oh, Nichols had the door shut on him by Wolken. Jed Williams leading the way. Conkright second. Wolken sticks his nose down underneath the 124 as they work off a of two. Good racing going on from second on back. Nichols trying to run down Walken as they work through three of four. Nichols will go right through the middle lane. Just not enough right there as Walken grabs a little bit of moisture off of four and he'll take it into one and two. It's all Jed Williams up front. And now here comes the Wilkinson brothers all over the five. Eli of Marty Steinbach. Kyle now looking to the outside of his brother Cameron. Cameron can't fish to the bottom side. But off of four, it's all Jed Williams. Brandon Conkright now with a little bit of pressure from that 35 JW Casey Wolken. One and two, a little bit narrower than three and four right now. Looks like three and four, a lot of the guys can kind of put it wherever they want. One and two, you're kind of mid-tracking down. Two to go this time by for Jed Williams. He got a three-car battle right behind him as Conkright, Wilkin, and Nichols going at it. Marty Steinbach starting to reel that battle in as well. Good racing as they work through three and four. White flag is out one more time around for Jed Williams. And now here comes Wilkin once again trying the inside lane. Conkright's been a little bit too strong on the top side, and he'll continue to do the same off of two. Woken back to third, and now Nichols right there as well. But through three of four, one final time. Taking home the heat race win. Give it up for Jed Williams. Conkright 
will hold on for second. Woken, Nichols, and Steinbach will round out your top five. That'll be Kyle Wilkinson, Cameron Wilkinson, and the 19 of Cody St. Crow. Well, race fans, that was a tough heat race, but he walked the dog going from first to the checkered flag, all as the leader. As he comes off a turn number four, give it up for the Shickley leader from 77. That's Jed Williams. Dylan Lonstein not making the call here, of course, ma making the jump from the hobby stock to the stock car here this year. Eric Bartles inside order two. He was your 2020 Beatrice Speedway track champion. Tyler Iverson, of course, you saw him in the modified earlier. In front of him, Darren Nelson, or Dan Nelson as well. Two modified drivers starting deep in this one. Up front, green flag is out. And a good start for Caleb Hetrick, the former hobby stock runner. His second year in the stock car will take the early advantage as they work off a of turn number two. It's Hetrick, your leader. And now Darren Nelson moves up into the second spot. Bartles to third. Here comes Iverson now to the inside. Tyler Iverson picking off a number of spots. He started deep in the field back in seventh. He is up to third in the 98T. And they're going to go four wide for a second behind him. Bartles and Nelson going side by side for fourth. Iverson now looking to the inside of Darren Nelson. Iverson with a slide job. Oh, pushed it in too strong. And the car will go around in three and four. And that will probably bring out the caution as the field works off a of two. And that will bring off the caution. Iverson going for the second spot. Pushed it in a little too strong. Goes around and that will end his heat race. So that'll put him deep in the A feature later on tonight. Of course, this is his first full season in a stock car. He bought the stock car midway last year. First time we've seen it here at Junction. We see a lot of modified guys going to this class now. Jordan Grabowski, Dylan Smith. As we said, Dan Nelson in this one. Also another stock car driver and a modified driver. Brandon Cockright in the last heat race. That's making this class even tougher. There was some fantastic drivers already in this class, the stock cars. And the 14X of Dan Nelson. Bo Eggy, 1X, another fast runner right behind him. Set to go back to green flag racing this time by two now, six to go. Off of four, Hetrick will lead him around. Here we go. Through one and two, and Bartles with a slide job. He'll take the lead. Hetrick tried the crossover, just couldn't get the run off the corner that he needed. And now here comes Nelson, the slide job at three and four. It will stick, and Darren Nelson, there's a busy Dan Nelson up to second. Hetrick goes from first to third on the opening circuit after the restart. And now here comes Aggie to the inside. Eric Bartles with a big time move on the initial restart to take the lead. Dan Nelson trying to run him down, and now here comes Aggie to the inside of Hetrick. Darren Nelson right there in that battle as well on the 67. Two great battles going on right now as Aggie takes the third spot. Nelson to the inside of Hetrick, and now here comes the 5B of Matt Butcher as well. Off of four, Eric Bartles leading, but here comes Dan Nelson. Nelson all over the back bumper, the 25B, but Bartles a good run off of two, will separate a little bit. And now here comes Butcher to the inside of Hetrick. That's the battle for fourth and fifth, or something the fifth and sixth. Off of four, Bartles still leading, but here comes Nelson. Nelson tries to beat him to the outside. He'll do it in a one and two. What a move by Nelson. He'll take the top spot down the back stretch. Nelson absolutely had to mash the gas to beat Bartles to the cushion, and he did so. Bartles back to second, and now Darren Nelson back up to third. White is out one more time around. Aggie. We'll lose a spot to Butcher. Tell you what, Butcher quietly making his way through the speedway as well. He started eighth, and he is up to fourth. 
But off a of turn number four, give it up for the 14S, picking up the win, Dan Nelson. Eric Barnes, Darren Nelson, Matt Butcher, Caleb Hetrick, and then the 09H of Robert Hoeing. Bo Aggie with problems on the 1X. He comes to a slow salt. Looks like he'll be able to get off the speedway, and Alan Zimmerman will round out your order. But how about it, race fans? What a pass from the top side for Dan Nelson. Matt Butcher and Caleb Hetrick, row one. Brandon Conkright, Darren Nelson, row two. Jed Williams and Casey Roken, row three. Marty Steinbach, Eric Barnes, row four. Mike Nichols and Dan Nelson, row five. So we'll try it again here. Take two in the stock cars. 20 laps the distance. Looks like 18 cars making the call. And off of four, we are green. The field thunders into one and two. It'll be Matt Butcher taking the early advantage. Brandon Conkright and Hetrick going side by side for second. They're three wide back there for fourth as we've got shuffling all over the speedway. They're four wide deep in the field as lap one goes to Matt Butcher. Brandon Conkright up to second. Casey Wolken now. Where did he come from? He started sixth. Eric Barnes side by side with Caleb Hetrick as we've got one going around. It's Kyle Ord at the bottom of turn three and four. It looks like bottom of four. So the cash hit flag flies. That'll be both Cameron and Kyle Wilkinson in the next row. Tyler Iverson and St. Crow to his outside. Back to green flag racing this time by. Butcher lead him off a of four. And through one and two. How about a three wide momentarily for the lead? Boucher with the lead. Conkright second. Walk at third. Here comes Eric Bartles working the top shelf. Conkright back down to the bottom side, side by side for the lead at three and four. And oh, we got one going around in turn three and four. It's Tyler Iverson. And the caution flag, I believe, will fly. The caution flag will fly. Iverson going around. He has some sparks coming from the front of the vehicle as he was coming around the corner. So something askew on the 98T as he might have to go pit side. So Matt Boucher, can he hold on for the win in this one? Going back to green off of four. Here we go. Casey Walken with a good restart through a haymaker, not gonna happen. Conkry pulls away, so does Boucher, your leader. Side by side as the top five work the top side at three and four. Boy, there's a gaggle of cars for about eighth on back. Hetrick, Aggie, Nelson, and Williams all going out at mid-pack there. But up front, we got some good racing. It's, oh, your leader, Boucher, jumps the cushion. He's going to go all the way back to fourth, maybe fifth, as your new leader, Brandon Conkright, goes into three and four. Bartles. And Steinbach will get around Boucher as well. And now here comes Casey Wolken for the lead. Casey Wolken, your new leader. Wolken, the slide, jump, and one and two. Crossover move by Conkright. The 124 takes it right back. Two Kansas natives going at it with an Iowa runner right behind him. Mike Nichols waiting in the wings of the 63. Woken, Conkright, Nichols pulling away from the field. Then it's Bartles, Boucher, Nelson, Williams, and Steinbach. 
Bo Aggie, Cameron Wilkinson, Caleb Hattrick, Kyle Wilkinson. That is the 19 County St. Crow. The 09 H. And Robert Hoeing, Kyle Ward, and Alan Zimmerman routing out your order. Off of four. Casey Walken, tell you what, he is starting to pull away from the field. That 35 looking strong here tonight. Brandon Conkright still holding off Mike Nichols. That's the battle for second. Eric Bartles in fourth. Matt Boucher in fifth. Good battle for sixth between Darren Nelson and Jen Williams. Now here comes Bo Eggie to the inside. Uh, Matt Steinbach, or Marty Steinbach, excuse me. Aggie, not quite enough to get around the five, Eli. Williams now to the inside of Nelson. Williams throws the haymaker in three of four. Completes the slide job, but Nelson diamonds back underneath him. He'll get the spot back. So keep Jen Williams in the seventh spot. Top four cars up front, pulling away. And I tell you what, the battle for second, third, and fourth is starting to become a good one. Woken with the lead, but Conkright, Nichols, and Bartles. Kind of a little bit of a cluster right there. Everyone working the cushion. Someone makes a mistake. This one could get interesting. It's, oh, Bartles off the pace. Something letting go on the 25B. His night is done. Top break for Eric Bartles in the 25B. The defending Beatrice Speedway track champion. We also have another one going around at the bottom of turn number two, but he's off the speedway. We stay clean and green. Your leader now having to contest with lap traffic. Alan Zimmerman, the first one to go a lap down as Walken works the bottom side off of four. Eight laps left to go. 12 down, eight to go. Walken, still your leader. We'll get around Zimmerman. Conkright follows him around. Mike Nichols will be the next one to try and get around the 83Z. Meanwhile, here comes Jed Williams, the Shickley native, looking to the inside of Darren Nelson. That's the battle for fifth right now on the speedway. Marty Steinbach with a good view of that one right behind him. Seven to go as Casey Walken now will have to deal with another lap car. That's the 9 h of Robert Hoeing. Woken working the bottom side off of four, trying to get around the 09H. He'll have to cut underneath them as they go into one and two. Conkright right behind him. Here comes Conkright to the outside, side by side for the lead. Conkright going to the top in three and four. Woken down low. Woken slides up and shuts the door. Casey Walken holding off Conkright. Nichols trying to throw his hand in the mix as well. The defending national champion. As oh, Hoeing letting something loose as well. He's got fluid dripping from the 09H. Casey Walken with a fantastic move to get around the lap car. He's got two more lap cars in front of him. Four to go for the Kansas runner. Kyle Ward and Caleb Hetrick, the next ones to go a lap down. Looks like a piece of debris at the top of two. We stay clean and green. Woken will have to go to the bottom side, which is where he has been running in three and four. We'll see what he does in one and two to get around the 25. He's got Conkright and Nichols hot on his heels. Three to go this time by for Woken. He'll use the lap car as a pick. He'll get around Kyle Ord and Caleb Hetrick. Big move for the 35. Now here comes Nichols to the outside. Nichols up to second. What a move for Mike Nichols. Now he'll look for the lead in one and two. Walking too strong as Mike Nichols a little too tight off of two. Had to drift up. White flag is out one more time around for Casey Walken. Started sixth on the grid. Mike Nichols, one last stab at the Norton, Kansas runner. We'll see what the 63 can do. He'll go to the top side and let her eat. Off of four. 
not going to happen. It'll be Mike Nichols by a car like Boy, that one was closer than you would have expected it. Wow. Nichols almost running him down. But Casey Wonkin holding on. How about it, race fans, as advertised. Picking up the win from Norton, Kansas, the 35JW, Casey Wokin.